hi beautiful people welcome and welcome back to my channel so today i want to make a blazer and let me just arrange things because my house look kind of mess let me just arrange it then we'll get into it babe do you want to say hi baba say baba say baba <laughs> oh bye okay baba. okay so let me just <laughs> let's just get into it i have this brown paper i'm just going to transfer this tr i have the trouser and this kid's body bodysuit i guess so let me just put this aside and work on the trouser because it is a bit simple for the trouser so i'm just going to fold it this is the front part and the back side so i'm just going to fold the front and trace it out i'm going to use a chalk so that it can be visible on my camera. So from there. And since I have elastic, I'm just going to pull it a bit. Like so. Then I trace it. It's just that simple. And if you want to extend the the waist you can just extend because I'm just going to use elastic here. After my front, that is front. After my front, I'm going to trace the back now. Just the same procedure. So here's my back and front. This is an easier method for those people who want to make a garment and can and don't know how to go about doing pattern drafting. And it is easy for further manipulation. So the back and front is ready to cut. So I'm just going to put it aside and work on the, on the blazer. So I'm just going to use this. I'm just going to do the same procedure. Push. Place it somewhere like so and trace it out. Let me just put it here. So I'm just going to measure where I want my blazer to be. Hey babe, keep quiet, mama. Keep quiet. Baba. So my, I'll put here the tip. So my actual blazer is 12. Just mark there 12. And I'm going to Just know what this is for. Um, and from this point, I'm going to curve it. So, for this, let me, I've forgotten something, I'm going to mark this place for my facing. I hope it's not complicated, so what I'm going to do from here, from here all the way here that will be my back I'm just going to trace that out then from here to here from here the other one from here sorry from here to here all the way that will be the front and this part over here will be the facing the second explanation the back is easier it is on a straight grain which I'm going to cut to 
So for the front, this will be, I'll cut this for the main fabric and these two, this will be for the lining. So let me just go cut and then I'll see you later. So here are my pieces, I've already cut the trouser. I'm just going to take my back and join with the front. Let me just show you how I'm going to do it. everything then I'll come to show you the, the product here it is I've already stitched this part and this one but I haven't stitched I've gave I've left a gap here I'll just show you why what I'm about to do is to attach my main fabric to the lining so I'm just going to take that part like so and stitch it I'll stitch even the armhole I'll stitch the armhole and this part so let's go my garment I'm done at that part in the armhole so what I'm going to do I'm going to flip this inside out and sew the down part after sewing the down part I will use this opening to turn it inside out again
next thing is the trouser what I'm going to do I'm going to stitch the crotch after stitching the crotch I'll just open it up and as well as this I place them like so then I sew here 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 and that way. then I'll show you next what I'm going to do I've already overlocked it so the next thing that I'm going to do I'm just going to place my elastic over here from this point I'll just overlock it then I'll fold it and stitch over here